Hello, good evening. In today's drug of the day series, we are going to study about Ocel tablet. We are going to study its class, its mechanism of action, its structure, its structural activity relationship, its metabolism, and what are the questions which are asked from this topic. So let's get started. The drug Oseltamivir belongs to the class of antiviral drugs and its subclass is Neuromidase inhibitor. So we will study about this in further slide. It is used for treatment of influenza A and influenza B. So let's study the life cycle of a virus. So the first step of this is adsorption of virus to the host cell. So first it is attaching to the host cell. Next step is entering the host cell by penetration. So now it has entered. So uncoating is taking place. Means this membrane layer is removed and only nucleocapsid is remaining, which contains a genetic material. Now this genetic material of virus enters the nucleus of host cell. Here the genetic material replicates and transcription is also taking place. So many copies of nuclear material is formed. So this many nucleocapsids are formed over here. So again, a membrane layer is formed by budding and this newly formed virus are released in the host system. Now this new viruses will go and infect the other cells of host. This is the picture of virus. So it contains nucleocapsid, which is having LN, which is having RNA polymerase and uh, genetic material and the membrane layer. This is the membrane layer. It is containing heme agglutinin and neuromidase. So let's study mechanism of action. So mucus secretion of host contains glycoprotein and glycolipin. The name itself is telling glyco means sugar, so sugar and protein. Glycolipids mean sugar and lipid, which sugar, the sugar part of which is having sialic acid. So sialic acid is also called as N-acetyl neuromic acid. So this is the glycoproteins and lipids present on the host cell. So now neuromidase, which is a protein present on virus. This, this part is neuromidase will go and bind to the glycoprotein and lipid and cleave the sialic acid. Okay, so this will lead to degradation of mucus layer. So now this virus can easily attach to the host cell because there is no barrier present over here. And so it will penetrate, replicate and infect the other cells. So this is happening in the host. So this is done by virus. Right? So the drug Oseltamir, this drug, this molecule represent Oseltamivir, will go and bind to neuromidase. You can see over here. So it is binding to neuromidase and inhibiting its action. So there will be no cleavage of sialic acid from glycoprotein and lipid, no degradation of mucus layer. So now the mucus layer is present. So the virus cannot enter the host cell, so the infection is prevented. Let's study the side effect. So nausea and abdominal pain is observed due to gastric irritation, but this can be prevented by taking the drug with food. Other side effects are headache, diarrhea, cough, insomnia, and skin reactions. Pharmacokinetics of the drug. Oseltamivir is excreted by kidney and the tea half is 6 to 10 hours. This is the marketed formulation of Oseltamivir, which is Oselvir 75. The dose is 75 mg oral twice a day for 5 days. SAR of the drug. This is the structure of Oseltamivir. So its numbering is done in accordance to this structure, which is known as DANA, which stands for 2-deoxy, 2-3-dehydro, and acetyl neuromic acid. 
So this drug was the first drug in the series of neuromyelitis inhibitor. So oseltamivir's numbering is done with the accordings of this drug. So let's start numbering. So this is the first carbon. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now we have done the numbering. Let's study the SAR. First point, maximum binding is occurring to neuromyelitis when C6, when this carbon is substituted with 3-pentyl oxide side chain. So this is called 3-pentyl oxide. Why? Because 1, 2, and 3. So third position oxy and 5 carbon rings, so pentyl. So when the substitution on 6 carbon is done via so when substitution of 6 carbon is so when 3 pentyl oxy substitution is done on 6 carbon maximum binding of oseltamivir to neuromyelitis is occurring so maximum inhibition is done next point two ethyl ester means ethyl ester on second carbon makes the drug orally efficacious Next important point is oseltamivir is a prodrug. What does a prodrug mean? A prodrug is a drug which will enter the body in inactive form. Then it will undergo biotransformation to form an active form. And then this active form will show the pharmacological action. Metabolism. This is the structure of oseltamivir. So first we will look at biotransformation, means it's conversion to its active form. So first reaction is hydrolysis, means hydrogen is added over here, OH over this side. So this will lead to formation of active metabolite. This active metabolite will show pharmacological action, the active metabolite don't undergo any further metabolism. So it is excreted in this form by kidney. The another path is via omega oxidation. Any last carbon of a side chain is named as omega. Over here, this is the last carbon. So it is named as omega. So oxidation of this carbon is called omega oxidation. So in the first step, OH is added over here, hydroxy group. In the second step, double bond O is added. So this is leading to a carboxy side chain. This is the another metabolite of oseltamivir. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel. You can press the bell icon. So you can get notification whenever a new YouTube video is uploaded. You can join our daily MCQ WhatsApp group by dropping a message on this contact numbers. You can also connect us via Gmail. So this is the question which was asked in GPAC 2016. And the question is, Oseltamivir is an antiviral drug it produces its action by inhibiting which enzyme? And the options are option A, DNA polymerase, option B, neuromyelinase, option C, integrase, option D, protease. And we know the right answer. It is option B, neuromyelinase. We have studied in the mechanism of action neuromyelitis inhibitor that is oseltamivir is going and binding at the neuromyelitis receptor so it is preventing the action of neuromyelitis to cleave the sialic acid from glycoprotein so this will maintain the mucus layer intact so virus is not able to bind to the host cell so infection is prevented Thank you.